Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you are here with me today for another video. My name is Dina Satira and today I'm going to share with you on seven tips that you could use to prepare for your medical school interview. So there are two types of interviews. You have the traditional interview, which is, you know, people ask you those generic questions. And then you have the MMI, which is where they give you scenarios and then you have to respond. But today I'm going to focus mostly on the traditional interview. So without further ado, please hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. So let me start by saying receiving a medical school interview is a huge accomplishment. If you are currently going through this journey right now, and if you apply to 10 or a million schools and you received one interview so far, it is something to be very grateful for because so many people go through this process and they never received an interview. Your interview is the moment for you to shine, for you to tell them why they should choose you out of all the thousands of applicants. So what is my first tip for you today? You should know your primary application. You should know every single activities that you put in there and you should know your personal statement because many schools, with, with many schools, with the interview process, the interviewer can either see a part of your application or they can see the entire application. There are some times when the interviewer is completely blinded, so they have no idea what your GPA is, your MCAT, your activities, and your personal statement. Other times, they are partially blinded, so they can see some aspects of your application. Most times, they will hold back like your academics, so like your grades, GPA, and MCAT. Other times, it's like an open book. They can see everything. So with that, just make sure do not lie. Know what you wrote on your application because they will ask you something from it. And if you tell them something that's contradictory to what you wrote, that is going to be a huge red flag. Should you remember everything verbatim? No. But if you wrote about yourself, it shouldn't be hard for you to talk about it in the interview, right? So on, to <laughs> so on to tip number two, please do your research about the medical school. The fact that they gave you an interview, that means that they really see something in you, right? The least you can do is to do your research about the school. So what do I mean by doing your research? Please know their mission statement and their values. A lot of times they will ask you about it in the interview. They may not be blatant and say, oh, so tell me about our mission statement. They may ask you another question and they expect you, oh, love you. And they expect you to tie your answer with their mission statement. So know their mission statement and their values you should ask yourself, does this resonate with who I am? Also, I know demographics is very important to some people choosing their medical school. So look at where the school is located. Is the school is in a city? Do you like the city life? Or is the school in a more rural area? Do you prefer the rural life? All those things that you should take into consideration when looking for a school. And if you're moving with a spouse, then you should look at, okay, will my spouse be able to get a job in this vicinity as well? So do your research and make sure to know your information about the school. Also, I would say ask around about extracurricular activities if you are interested. So for me, I love cooking. And when I did my research, I saw that the medical school that I was interested in has a good um, culinary club. Yes, medical school has a culinary club. So that was a bingo for me. And I was able to talk about that in my medical school interview. So 
when you do your research like that look for clubs that interest you so that you can show them that you put the time and effort into this and you are really serious about actually going to their school for tip number three please know why you want to go to that school and again that will comes down to if you do your research or not which was tip number two do you want to go to the school because it's in the city you like the city life or do you like a school that's more in the rural area do you like the clubs that they offer do you like their teaching curriculum why do you want to go to their school um no, have that answer ready because most times they're going to ask you on why you want to go to their school and again that comes back down to you doing your research and please do not apply to a school if you don't want to go because you may be taking someone else's spot who really want to go to that school i know people who apply to schools because just because and I personally don't think that's fair. Like, there are some schools that I would never go to. Like, when I look, when I do my research, I'm like, there's no way on earth I would go to that school. I would rather go to a different country. <laughs> so I'm not going to apply to it. Um, well, there are other people who apply to a school knowing that they have no intention on going to that school. Just don't do that, please. Because there are people who probably who want to go to that school. Um... So know why you want to go to the school and make sure you have your answer ready for them when they ask you that question. So on to tip number four, which is one of my absolute favorite, most important tip. I don't know why I put it at number four. It should have been number one. But anyways, practice, practice, practice. Yes, practice for your medical school interview. I mean, there are just so many questions they can ask, but once you get an idea of what it feels like, your actual interview will be much better for you. For example, for me, I had no idea what to expect for a medical school interview. So I did my research and I found some medical school interview questions online. And I was like, hmm, these are really good questions. A lot of times there are similar questions, but they ask them in different ways. So familiarize yourself with different possible ways that they can ask a question during your medical school interview. And find someone, please find someone to practice with. So for me, I did about four mock interviews I had two with my professor and those were absolutely amazing. I treated the interview like I didn't know him and he treated the interview like he did not know me at all. We were just strangers doing an interview and in doing that, you can hear yourself, you know, what you're saying, how you're saying it, and you can get positive critique before the actual interview. I did interview with my professor because I know, you know, I know him on a professional level and I know he would have given me well thorough feedback. And I also did um, interviews with my friend. I did like two interviews with one of my friend who I really trust, someone who really knows me. And at the end of the interview, I, I had questions that I asked. I was like, do you feel like the real me showed during my interview? And I listened to the feedback and how I was able to improve on my interview skills. And also, if you have a recorder, I mean, you can use your phone these days. Record yourself when you're doing these mock interviews. And then when you get some time, you play them back. So that you, you can literally hear yourself saying certain things. And you're like, hmm, I probably shouldn't have said that. Or I could have said this. A better way or I really like that point so let me write that down for my actual interview just in case they ask me the question so please don't go into the interview blinded find at least one person to do a mock two three four five interviews with before you actually do your real interview and that will help you a whole lot so on to tip number five Please know your strengths and weaknesses. 
a lot of people they tend to easily point out what they're not good at um so for myself i know certain things that i'm not good at but it's kind of hard to point out what you're good at or for other people it's the opposite i know i'm good at all these things and i know I, i'm blah 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 and then when you ask them okay so what areas of improvement do you think you need to work on and they'll be like well i don't know you never want to be that person in the interview every single person on the face of this planet and whoever there are in the universe has some weaknesses and some strengths if you don't know your weaknesses and your strengths talk to a very close friend so that's what i did i talked to my professors and my friends and i asked them i said what are some of my strengths like i was very direct i said why why do you think i'm a good person um what are some qualities of uh, about me that you like at first they thought i was being weird but i'm like no i'm asking you this question because i'm preparing for my medical school interview and in that same light what are some things that i can improve on so by doing that, I was able to hear from other perspectives as well, my strengths and my weaknesses, and I wrote them down. So there are a lot of people who are gifted and they have 10 million strengths. Listen, they don't wanna hear all your strengths in the interview. Just choose about two or three. Sometimes they will be direct and they'll be like, tell me three of your strengths. So always, I would say, always have like your top three in mind and don't just say, oh, I am good at perseverance. I mean, anybody can say that. When you're talking about your strengths, you want to bring in experiences that highlight that strength for you. So if you're somebody that's very empathetic and you have a naturally caring nature, and that's one of your top three, before your interview, you need to go into your archive and think about, all the times that you exercise that trait so that when they ask you in the interview, you can tell them a story, a factual story that complement why you chose that strength. And also for your weakness, as I said before, everybody on the face of this earth has a weakness. So Choose one that resonates with you, two, three that resonates with you. And don't just say, I suck at this. You want to present your weakness in a way that you are actively working to improve. So for example, if I know a lot of pre-meds, you know, a lot of us don't know when to stop. So a lot of us don't practice self-care. So don't just say, oh, my weakness is that I care too much and I just don't know when to stop. Like that sounds very cliche and it doesn't rest well with a lot of people because it's like, well, at least for me, it sounds like you're trying to get pity. So don't do that. But instead, if you'd be like, okay, I am a very focused person and I know that sometimes that can get in the way of me knowing when to take a break and to look back and how I can do things better but that is something I am actively working on and then you go into telling them how you are actively working on your weakness so know those because most times they tend to ask those in interviews so on to tip number six Oh, this one. A lot of pre-meds do not like to answer this question. But guess what? They ask it a lot in medical school interview. So tell me, why do you want to be a doctor? Yeah, seriously, they ask that question. It sounds cliche and most people, they address that in their personal statement but you need to know how to verbalize it because they're gonna ask you that question. Why do you wanna be a doctor? Why not a nurse? Why not a physician assistant? Why not a medical assistant? Why not a pilot? Why not an astronaut? 
Like you need to have an answer. And I'm not gonna tell you what answer you need to have because you should know why you wanna be a doctor. Nobody can tell you that. I know like some people, they have these generic responses, but if that's not truly why you want to be a doctor, don't say that. You should know why you wanna be one and um, why you choose it over everything else. So that question was really hard for me, to be honest. And I had to do some real soul searching to come up with my answer. And I remember during my medical school interview, I got asked that question. And then I got asked the question, um, why not be a nurse or a physician assistant? And I answered that question. And then the person ask the question again in a different way so be careful of that because they will ask you the same questions in many different ways to see if you are consistent but once you know your fact and you know why we, you want to do something then it shouldn't be that hard for you and then on to my seventh and final final tip for you today please be yourself I know it sounds cliche, but you are most likely going to be interviewed with people who have been doing this for a while. They can see through your bullcrap if you are faking. So you don't need to fake. You don't need to put on a facade. Don't go into the interview and feel like you have to impress anybody. You don't need to impress anybody. Just be who you are. The fact that they read your personal statement, they read your activities, they saw your grades and they gave you an interview spot that shows that they like who you are if you were honest with everything else which i'm hoping you were honest with everything else so don't go in there worrying about what the interviewer is thinking a lot of people try to read the interviewers and they try to match their energy with the interviewers sometimes that work out sometimes it doesn't because if you're not good at reading people, you may read the interviewer or interviewers wrongly. So just be yourself and throughout the whole interview, play on your strengths and strengths. So for me, I am naturally a bubbly person. So, and I like to make people laugh. It's not something that I actively do, but when I'm having conversations with people, it, it's a natural thing for me, like people, are always laughing so that was one thing that played out in my interview like I was even shocked when I you know when I saw the interviewers laughing about certain things that I would say they weren't laughing at me they were laughing with me because I was making light of certain situations so that worked for me if you're not that type of person please don't do it please don't go in the interview and try to make a, a joke that you pre-planned in your head that may not go well with the interviewers, it may feel like you're not taking this seriously, but if you're somebody that is naturally a bubbly person, please let that show in, in your interview. If you're somebody who is shy, a, a lot of people, they don't like to talk. Um, it comes back down to practicing as one of my other tips, practice, 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 and you will overcome or learn to live with the fear of talking to people. Like, I used to hate talking to people like I was always so conscious of my accent my word choice and all that but now it, I don't really care anymore I'm like as long as you can understand what I'm saying that's all that matters and as long as I'm being truthful with what I'm saying that's all that matters as well so be yourself and remember these are humans these are not robots they have feelings and you have feelings don't be afraid to show who you truly are in these interviews because you don't want to go to a school that doesn't align with your values you're gonna be miserable i've had people who have gone to medical schools that definitely don't align with their values and they are absolutely miserable right now don't be that person so thank you for listening to these seven tips that I had to share with you. I chose seven because seven is the perfect divine number. And as long as you follow these tips, 
I trust that you will ace your medical school interview and I wish you all the best. I hope that you will have a successful interview and that you will be able to get into the school of your choice. If you have any questions, just please comment below. If you have trouble finding any online documents of questions, I had like a 400 question page. Um, 400 questions document that I can share with you. So just comment below if you'd like to get that information as well. And I wish you guys all the best. All right, take care. Bye.